Hello friends, this is lesson 11 of uh, Big Data Hadoop with Python. In today's lecture, we are going to cover the following topics. So first, we will be introducing a library called MRA job, then how to install this, and then first map reduce program using MRA job, and we'll be testing the program locally, and then running the program on Hadoop cluster. Let have, uh, let's start with the first topic here. Uh, introducing to MRA job. So what is this MRA job? MRA job is a map reduce library in Python for instance, which is created by Yelp. This is the introduction. Now MRA job allows map reduce applications to be written in a single class. So if you remember in previous examples we had a separate map file and we had a separate reducer file. Uh, one file you are creating for mapper.py and another file you are creating for reducer.py. So what will happen here? We will be having both mapper and reducer within a single class. This is uh, one difference between uh, individually writing mapper and reducer and using MRA job. In MRA job, we will be creating a single class. Both the mapper and reducer will be there within that uh, class. MRA job is simple and more Pythonic. It is actually designed for Python and it is more Pythonic and it is very simple. Another one is here map reduce jobs written within MRA job can be tested locally and also it can be run on Hadoop cluster or run in cloud using like Amazon uh, Elastic map reduce. You can run it on cloud you can run it on Hadoop uh, cluster or you can test the programs locally so this is the main advantage of using MRA job first it is very much simple it is Pythonic those who are good in Python because we are using classes here we will be creating the objects like that so we are using classes here uh, another main advantage is both mapper and reducer will be in the same class and uh, yeah, it is so much simple compared to writing individually to different files, mapper and deducer. Now let's see how to install this MRA job. Since it is a Python uh, program or it is a library in Python, so first we have to install this. For installing this uh, MRA job, it is so much simple. You just uh, use the pipe. Uh, followed by the command like what we are using here pipe and install MRA job this much only you are using pipe install MRA job but one thing else you have to remember friends if you have not installed the pipe then there will be a problem first you have to install the pipe so how can we install the pipe for that you have to use sudo this command first you run sudo uh, sorry apt-get install python pipe after installing the pipe then you can run this command pipe install MRA job then it will install the MRA job for you now the program I have already written here I will explain it later let's first open the terminal by pressing ctrl alt t so here we have the terminal I will connect to my HD user so switch uh, user HD user and then the password is one two three come to the root directory change the directory to home directory of HD user so these were the programs what we wrote in previous lectures in today's lecture we are going to use the MRA job so for that before that we have to install the MRA job and for installing we have to use this command I will take the copy and uh, paste it here All right so you run this it will be installing that so see here requirement all this specified here it is installed it will be taking very much uh, very less time because it is not a huge library it will be installed uh, and then you can use it so it is installed now what will happen I will create a program here like uh, sudo gedit and then I will say word count dot why so one two three it is here the program is already written I will just take the copy of this program 
and paste it there. Okay, so this is the program friends. First, you have to import from MRA job. What you have to import? This class you have to import. M or job. These three letters are caps and the remaining are small letters. So this is a class within this library you have to import first this uh, class and then you create the relationship between the new class which you are creating this is the name of my class right and this is something predefined we have to create the relation it means uh, if you know the inheritance so it is actually the inheritance we are inheriting from this class so that becomes a parent and my class becomes the child class so see here friends we have two functions here mapper and reducer and so much simple both are in the same file and the same program so here we have a function called mapper and then here we have another function called reducer so in function mapper what will happen it will be reading from the standard input line by line and then it will check if there is space between the line those space will be removed so all the words will be a script is not used otherwise you can use a script also let me use it line is equal to line dot okay straight this also you can use strip strip yeah as well is right yeah so it will um, first it will remove if there is space between the lines then from the line it will split the words one by one and all those words are stored in this list then what i say here the mapper function is you uh, function is to create key values so the keys are here within this one we are taking one by one the words and we'll be assigning the value one for each and every word so this is the function of mapper right now let's see the uh, the reducer so the output of this mapper is fit to the reducer here so word comes to the key and this ones are coming to the values now what will happen here the keys we are printing but in the values will be summing or taking the sum of those if they are repeated for example if the word eight we have already and second time if it is coming it will print only one eight the second one it will increment the value in front of that and it will print the two so this is the uh, main purpose so here what will happen at the end we have to use this one if name is equal to main you just call the run the instructor uh, sorry the constructor so from here mora job this is the name of my class and i'm running my constructor from here just if name is equal to main because uh, if you are good in programming uh, main is the function from where the execution starts starting point of execution so from here i say you go to my class and there is a constructor run that constructor right i save the program and then close this come here how to run so just since it is python program you have to use python then word count and you give the input for that like we have input so it is run and here this is the result very simple program friends and running is also very simple you just this is the statement you have to use since it is python program you have to use python then the name of your program and then you give the input any file you are giving here so that will be read since both the mapper and reducers are in the same class so no need for individually calling those uh, two files so both are in the same file it will be mapping and reducing that so this is how we can test the program locally now how can we run this on hadoop environment or hadoop cluster for that first we have to run the services i say hadoop sorry start slash all dot sh we have to run the services yeah all the services will be running name no data no resource manager and then we have a secondary name node and for checking that we have to type the command gps 
yeah gps yeah the services are running now what we have to do first i have to upload the file for uploading the file i say let me first create a directory there like uh, hadoop fs and then we have ls user if you remember there we have something called hd user so these are the files already uploaded i will create a new directory here hadoop fs make dir i will use user then hd user here i will say okay mr job i will say it is like maybe it is predefined yeah okay new directory i will say new dir right is it there no it's not there so directory is created i will upload the file there so for uploading the file this is the way how to upload put input so to that directory new directory so it is uploaded now we can run so here very simple it is not like you have to find the jar file that hadoop streaming jar it is not required automatically it is detecting that you just type like hadoop sorry python word count right this is the name of my program what is the, from where you want to read the input so i will say okay or then hadoop and here you have to type h hdfs then colon followed by three forward uh, sorry forward slashes then where is the input the input is in user hd user and there we have something new dir and the name of file is input.txt you read it from there this is the simple way you can read so see here it is taking some time and then running automatically see here it is uh, finding and detecting the jar file right it is found the first step is here like the mapper and the juicer both are in the same class it will be completed it will be first mapping and then the result of the mapper will be sent to the reducer and the reducer it will count the number of words so let's see the output here it's taking some time yeah friends the program is run and here is the output right one thing you have to remember friends i didn't save the output that is why automatically it is displaying the output but if you want to save the output in the in the, in the form of a file so what you have to do so you have to mention here at the end here like this output since here the output is automatically displayed the file is not created but i want to create the file also so what we have to do you have to say output where you want to create the output i say user then hd user here you create the output now this time it will not display the result the result is uh, saved in the form of a file then we have to open the file and then we can see the output there so let me show you here it is taking some time at this time it will not display the result because we created a folder directory the output is stored there right okay yeah see friends it is not displaying the output but here it is giving us the reference from where we can uh, see the output it is here job output is hdfs here is the directory we have to take the copy of this right i say Control c or copy and then i say hadoop fs if you remember ls then i have to paste it here and see whether the file is created or not yeah it is going in chicken yeah the file is created in that directory this is the output right how can we see the result i will say port followed by five zeros and instead of this ls what i have to use I have to use cat and now you can see the output this is the output friends so it is so much simple you understood that the difference between individually mapper and reducer if you are creating different files but here we are creating only a single program 
uh, and running how to run it locally it is very simple this is the way how to run the program locally yeah you just write python in name of your program and give the input so this is how to run locally if you want to run the program on hadoop environment and so this is the way first you have to run the services when the services are on then you can use like this uh, oh, sorry where is that it was uh, here yeah sorry what is that it is okay let me write it again here so you have to use like uh, sorry python right then word count program then uh, you have to give the input if this is locally how to run it if you want to run it on hadoop cluster then here you have to put minus or then hadoop hadoop then here you have to write hdfs colon triple forward slashes and then you give the input from hadoop environment the file which we have uploaded here it was in user and user we have hd user and then we created a new directory and within the new directory the file is there input.txt you read the file and here we are not this is one way if you if you don't want to store the output but if you want to store the output again space and here you give the output plus and here you mention the directory where you want to store the output so this is the way it is very simple no need of uh, mentioning the jar file here everything so because everything or in the same class automatically it will detecting this uh, jar file and it, it will execute the program so i hope you understood friends how to install the mri job and how to create the class and how to run the program locally and also on hadoop cluster i will stop the services here stop uh, slash all dot sh so the services will be stopped you can see the result also by opening the browser there also the folder is created within that folder if you go then you can check the file you can download the file so here i stopped all the services and uh, okay stopping your secondary node resource manager yeah or gps as i use yeah they are all stopped i will say exit exit so right here we talked about friends how to install first i introduced mr job we said mr job is okay a library here in python you can use it is more pythonic it is very simple because both mapper and reducers are in the same single class will create both mapper and reducers are in the same class and then you can run it locally on hadoop cluster or on the cloud you can run it and installation this is a way for installing just pipe install mr job if this pipe is not installed before you you have to run this command to install the pipe command then you can run this one so this was the program only a single class is here single class within the single class the mapper is there and the reducer is there right so i hope you understood this much friends about mr job thank you